Hi, this is Ben Cantil, aka Encanti from DataMind Audio, and this tutorial will show you how to use our new plugin, the Concatenator. You can load any amount of samples into this, and this will try to recreate the input signal using the samples that you've loaded into it. So right now, I have the mix all the way down. The Concatenator is loaded on a channel with our friend CJ Beatboxing. <laughs> I also have an EQ, and at the end I have a glue compressor. For this example, let's start simple. I've downloaded this sample library off of Splice just now. It's got 237 samples in it, and they're all recordings of Koto. And you see this is a folder with a bunch of subfolders in it. It doesn't matter how many subfolders are there. You can just drag the folder directly to Add Files right here. You can also just click on Add Files and it'll take you to the browser. Now you just saw how fast that loaded. Let's go ahead and we can start playing it right now. I'm going to bring up the mix while it plays. <laughs> Now what you're hearing is purely samples from that folder and over here on the browser we can say you know there might be too much ambient loops in there so let's try to take that out. Maybe we take out the warped and if you don't want to see it all together you can always exit out and it'll recreate the point map. Now what you're hearing is the concatenator trying to recreate the beatboxing signal using samples from this Koto sample library. Let's say you want to spice this up a little bit. This is one of my favorite things that I like about working with concatenative synthesis. Uh, so wouldn't it be fun if, for instance, we added some action fully? You can just drag and drop an entire other sample library right there. It takes a couple moments and then we're ready to go. <laughs> So now you got the Koto in there, you've got uh, Foley sounds in there, like explosions and debris and stuff. All right, now let's walk through what these different knobs do. Let's start at the very top, polyphony. Polyphony is how many samples are able to play at the same time. Uh, you know this word from music synthesis. Uh, one means that there's no overlapping samples, so... So you're only going to hear it play back one sample at a time. Now the thing about polyphony is that the higher polyphony, the more CPU this takes. So watch out. If you see it start glitching out, you might want to turn this down. The next one here is variation. Variation means how much is the concatenator allowed to repeat the same sample? If you want a lot of variation, of course you can turn this way up. It's going to pick 20 other samples before picking the same sample again. That's basically what variation means here. If you want to turn it down all the way, however, you get more of a glitchy sound. And then we get to this knob. This particles knob is connected to what's called a particle filter. And particles are like darts that are getting thrown at the entire corpus moment to moment. The higher that you put the particle filter, the more accurate the concatenator is going to be in choosing a match for the sound coming in. So you can kind of think about particles as an accuracy knob. The particle filter tends to take up a lot of CPU. So as you are raising this knob, uh, keep an eye over here on this indicator and right below it you have RAM usage. Turn it down. Turn it back up. So if you find that there's any pops or clicks in using the concatenator, you might be driving the CPU too much. Watch out for particles and watch out for polyphony. The other parameter here that is going to really impact performance is stereo link. When you turn off stereo link, the sounds are mixed in mono and then separated between the left and right channel, which gives you a really wide sound but it doubles your CPU processing. So when you keep stereo on, it keeps the natural stereo image of each sound. All right, let's get down here, stickiness. Stickiness is the likelihood of choosing time consecutive slices of audio, which means that stickiness is essentially almost like the amplitude envelope of each grain. It's how likely the concatenator is to hang on to a sample it's chosen before choosing a different one. So longer stickiness means you're going to get these longer slices. And the shorter you go, the, the tighter, more grainy 
the slices become. Moving down here to amp weight and spec weight, these are really interesting. Amp weight is how much do we care about matching the amplitude of the sample to the amplitude of the input signal. And spec weight is how much do we care about matching the spectra of the sample to the spectra of the input signal. It's by no coincidence, the spec weight is also how much is a concatenator caring about pitch. If you really want concatenator to follow your pitch, you're going to want to turn the spec weight way up. Now, if you turn these down, it gets a little bit more random, but of course the characteristics like the rhythm remain in place. So playing with spec weight, amp weight, and stickiness, these three are the real heart of modulating the concatenator and getting a lot of different sounds out of it. Let's do a more interesting example. Now I've loaded a whole bunch of melodic samples into here. There are sounds from the guitar and clarinet and a whole bunch of voice samples. And I'm just going to be playing this arpeggiated melody into this. <laughs> So let's see, let's start incorporating the LFO. I'm gonna put the LFO on stickiness. I'm gonna make it so when it turns up a lot, it will latch on to whatever note that it's currently playing. And we're gonna do that in intervals of once every bar. We're gonna go up and down with sawtooth waves, just like that. Let's see how that sounds. And let's also put a little envelope follower, maybe two of these. Let's put onto amp weight. And let's do one more, put it onto spec weight. And we'll, we'll make it so the louder the sound is, the less it's going to care about the loudness. And we'll do the opposite here with spec weight. We'll make it so the louder the sound is, the more that it cares about the pitch. Let's go ahead and do the stereo unlink. Okay, just one more reminder of what this sounds like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt the synth. I'm going to change the, how fast the envelopes are. And we're going to hear how that impacts the sample selection process when we turn up the mix knob. Okay, a couple of last things about this interface. Notice the center here when you hover over these dots, it doesn't give you the name of one audio file because that these dots don't represent just one audio file. They represent these timbral clusters. And then up here, you'll see a particle reset in the corner. Remember earlier when I told you that this uses a particle filter, uh, which is where the AI in this comes in. This is an old-fashioned AI technique. No neural networks. The particle filter is ultimately deciding what part of the corpus is being chosen. Every now and then, you just think that, like, oh, maybe this is not the right parts of the corpus. You can always hit particle reset. I find this comes in especially handy when you're working with a large corpus.
And then over here, if you like the combination of samples that you've put together, you can save this as its own preset. And that's Corpus preset right here. So you can just hit save and it'll give you the option to also save the uh, the modulation preset. Now, by the way, just to point out our preset system, Corpus preset is different from the plugins preset, which just changes the modulation. And the reason we do this is because you might want to try like, you know, the Angel Trance 2 preset with your own kind of corpus. Uh, so I like the idea of being able to mix and match different corpus and modulation presets to see how they sound. Hopefully you'll enjoy that too. That's pretty much it for the concatenator beta. Remember, this is still in beta, so there might be some glitches you find along the way. Please let us know in the comments and on Discord what you think of using the concatenator. In the coming months, we have some awesome upgrades coming out as we continue to patch this towards our V1. So I hope you enjoy the concatenator, which is on sale now at datamindaudio.ai. This is Ben, a.k.a. Incanti, with Datamind Audio.